Audiobook title Halo Spartan X 01-35 by Prefix This work belongs to author Prefix. Source Wattpad.com Log when the encounter As soon as the war was over I left the UNSC they believed that I was a traitor for leaving they put wanted signs everywhere to get people to find me there was a large reward for my capture. I was in the pelican flying to earth till I seen a ship that came out of nowhere it did not look like UNSC or any other ship it was larger than any ship I've seen then a UNSC ship came and started to fire at it. Then the unknown ship fired back but only twice and it took down the UNSC. Ship like if it was nothing then I started to get a transmission from the UNSC ship. Transmission. Hello is anyone in this section please respond we are static. Please send help escape pods are static, UNSC. Ship eagle out for good. Then the ship blown up the other on sent three small pod-like crafts to the planet below. Then I changed my plan to find out what could this be and what type of technology they must have to take out a ship in two shots. I went to the planet that the pods went to then I found a convenient camp but it was destroyed. All of them was killed some was hanging on a tree by their legs even a few hunters were killed their heads missing. Then something grabbed my throat and threw me in a pit then I seen it it was blended in the environment so well I couldn't see it. The pit was very deep I couldn't jump out so I decided to climb out as I reached to top I looked around to see if the thing was still around but it seemed like it was not so I made my way to my ship to pick up some weapons I took a needler and a shotgun out to see how powerful are these sons of bitches. Hopefully the rest of the UNSC did not get the message from Eagle. If they did then they will think it was me that done it once that they see me here like what happened before. If you enjoyed the story vote and comment if you want more. Log to the hunt. As I was making my way through the forest till I seen a pelican. It seemed like crashed here not too long ago so it did seem like a few people could survive I looked around and it seemed like no one was out till I heard a large bang coming from the inside of the pelican. I forcefully opened the door only three men survived the crash. Soldier. Thank you kind sir. They were happy at first till they noticed the X on my suite then they did not looked at me. I gave them some weapons for them to survive against whatever is out there. As I was making my way to my ship I heard the men scream so I ran back as quick as I could when I had arrived they were gone only a bloody trail was left. I went into the ship to see if any of them could have had survived while hiding. Then I noticed the camera I went to the pilot station to find the recording. But there was no power to the ship I started to fix it once that I did I watched the recording. But it did not show what happened to the men, but it only showed the men escape into the ship after that nothing. I went back to my ship till I got in a transmission. This is UNSC main command all available Spartans and soldiers we need you to go to the section no as. SpaceX. As soon as possible an unknown craft has appeared in the section and took down one of our ships known as. Eagle. Report any findings in that section. This is bad if they find my ship or me then they will do anything to get me to talk and even kill me. While I was in my ship going to set it to self-destruct before they arrived to track me down by seeing my ship. I noticed three little red dots on my arm and moving up to my head so I ducked down and a blast was fired whatever it was it was hunting me. I set my ship to self-destruct in ten minutes but I knew whatever is firing at me might still be around. I took a risk and ran from my ship and down a small mountain while that thing was still shooting at me. Once I made it down the small mountain I found a cave so I took shelter in it. A few seconds later my ship had finally blown up I looked up to the sky and saw a UNSC ship entering the planet's atmosphere I know soon they will find me but I can't leave now till I find out what are these things. If you want more comment it and I'll make more. Log 3 The Arrival Spartan 1. Alright everyone we have till nightfall to get a base camp up okay. Now get moving and there might be some hostile close so I'll help clear out any so get the camp up now alright. 
I couldn't be seen by the rest of UNSC so I kept hidden in the cave for a while till I've seen no more ships dropping off supplies and equipment after that I ran into the woods. With a small amount of supplies. I had built a small shelter two miles east of the camp of the UNSC. Soldier 1. Hey did you heard why we are here on this planet? Soldier 2. No but it could be some new species of animals discovered of something. Soldier 1. No it is a strange ship it took out the eagle and it just took it out in just two shots. Whatever it was its weapons are strong. The two soldiers looked around until they stumbled upon a temple then they went back to the camp to tell the others as well send a search party to search the temple then Spartan X has appeared at the temple's entrance. Spartan X. I never seen this why is a temple like this in a planet with no intelligent life but the statues they have the same shape as the thing that threw me in the pit and I am talking to myself well time to check this place out. Meanwhile in the camp of UNSC. Spartan 1. What do you mean that there is a temple this planet? This planet is not inhabited. Spartan 2. Page we had noticed a small camp and a pelican the pelican is two clicks east from the camp that we found. It seems like it has a few survivors but we are not sure yet. So we might as well check it out just in case. Also I gotten word that the others are coming I guess the whole group is almost together once again all we need is X. But we can't find him. Spartan Page. Don't worry we'll find him soon or he'll find us. Log 4 The Temple. Spartan X. This temple it seems very old but it is holding as if it was first built today and well planned. A large roar can be heard all throughout the temple. Spartan X. What the hell was that? Looks down. H.M. Blood this is not human so there might be some covenants here or something else. Might as well follow the trail. As the Spartan was walking around in the temple not knowing what is deep within the temple. Now the Queen Xenomorph had started to lay out eggs after being unfrozen in the temple for centuries. The other Spartan has arrived at the campsite. Spartan Page Okay, everyone spread out. We don't know what can be around this area, so keep your eyes sharp. You won't know what can be around. Soldier. We looked around the camp. There was a few survivors. But it seems like whatever happened, it seems like a Spartan was here a few hours ago. Spartan Page. There was no one on this planet before us, so how can that be? Spartan 2. We located a second pelican. It was blown up. It seems like it was blown up just before we arrived. Spartan Page. Okay, I'll go check it out. You and the others look around. Okay, Nick. Spartan Nick. Okay, you hear that men look around. As Spartan X was in the temple, he started to see some carvings that is telling a story of what the creatures are as well as the history of the hunters. Spartan X. I don't understand any of this. This language it has no existence to any language that is known. But by the symbol it shows a second type of creature. Help! Help anyone please! As soon as Spartan X heard that call for help he ran to it to find who or what was crying for help. Later the last two Spartans had came they are known as Damien and Sean has arrived on the planet as well then the team of X is almost together but they need Spartan X to be complete. Spartan S. It has been a while since we've all been together right. Spartan D. Yeah all four of us it would have been five but he is gone. Lucky we are together in this mission like old times. Wait look at that land the pelican now. Spartan S. What are you doing now? Spartan D. There is a temple here. Spartan S. So. Spartan D. Did they said that the planet has no intelligent life? Spartan S. Yes so what? Spartan D. We need to check this out okay after we are out go to the base camp okay. Pilot. Got a good luck out there. Log 5. United at last. Spartan X. This temple it's always changing it's like a maze is there even a way to get out? It seems empty and abandoned. Yeah, it does seem like it. Spartan X. 
It seems like two people already found the temple time to make a quick escape sorry whoever is in here but I'll save you another day. Spartan X pulled out a smoke bomb to make a quick escape but he was grabbed by one of the men and dropped to the ground. Spartan D. Spartan X is that you? Spartan S. It is you X how are you here on this planet and why? Spartan X. You guys should know this is not a safe place. There is a new type of alien species on this world. It could have been the ones that took down the eagle. Besides, why are you guys here? Spartan S. We are here searching for what took down the eagle so had you seen it. Spartan X. A small bit but it could be unbelievable. As Spartan X told the other Spartans of what happened in the deepest part of the temple one of the first xenomorphs started to come out of a soldier's chest. Spartan X. Listen I'll make a deal okay. I'll help you all if you all say that I've died okay. That is all I want and one more question who is in charge of this mission. Spartan D. The person in charge is Paige after you left she took charge she had done very well hey maybe you two will tie it. Spartan X. Do I really need to knock you out? You know we need to leave now before those things show up so let's go on careful cause there are some still some hostels. As the three Spartans made their way to base camp the hunters were watching them and their every move till they arrived at base camp. Spartan D. Man it's good to see the old team back together again now right Paige? Spartan P. What are you talking about we need his ex but he's not here. Spartan X. Are you so sure about that, Spartan? I did say the next time we meet things will soon go bad. Spartan S. Don't get mad that we did not arrive on time, but we did found him, and well, we have some bad news. As they told Spartan P. Everything that has been going on Spartan N. was thrown across the camp then the hunter revealed itself. Everyone pulled out their weapons and was ready to fire it till Spartan X took charge. Spartan X. Don't kill it we need it alive. This thing is a hunter he is looking for a challenge so I'll take it everyone else stay out of this okay this is going to be my fight. Log 6 the fight. As Spartan X took in off all of his weapons as did the hunter once that they were ready they had started hand to hand combat it seemed that Spartan X was winning but the hunter was studying his moves once that the hunter had enough it started to fight back it soon knocked Spartan X off his feet. Till Spartan S shot a dart at it then Spartan X had uppercut the hunter knocking it out once that he did the entire camp was under attack by a small group of Covenant Spartan X and the rest of the soldiers started to fight them off while the rest was watching the hunter most of the Covenants retreated while the rest continued to fight. In less than an hour the fighting had stopped the Covenant had retreated most had split up to the temple and even entered it the rest were hunted down and killed. The ones that entered the temple had never exited or even survived after the first 20 minutes they've entered all you can hear was their screams and their weapons being fired then nothing but silence. They took the hunter to the interrogation room they chained it down as well. They asked it some questions but they never understood what it was saying they were confused. The hunter knows how to use space travel but couldn't speak English Spartan P left the interrogation room. Spartan X. I'll be back I'm going to see what is she going to do. Spartan X followed her to the communication room. Spartan X. What are you doing Spartan? Spartan P. I am contacting you dot and dot s dot c command. So they can send us a translator for that thing. Spartan X. Fine but don't talk about me okay. As the Spartans kept the hunter locked down the hive grows with more victims every hour and now it has covenants soon they will no longer live. U dot and dot s dot c command. Copy that Spartan will be sending a translator but will have to send Spartan 117 as well your orders now comes from him. Log 7 Master Chief As the Spartans had heard that Spartan 117 was being sent to help investigate as well as the translator. They had to hide Spartan X if Master Chief were to see him, then all of them would be trialed for treason and executed. 
Spartan X went to the cave he hid before and started to wait till he got in the message that he had left but it is most likely that he was going to stay for the rest of the investigation. 117. So this is what you had found. Spartan P. Yes we tried almost everything but it seems like it doesn't speak. Translator. This creature's language appears to be unknown. There's nothing that I can do to help translate. 117. It seems that this will be more challenging than I thought. Spartan D. If only Spartan X was here he might be able to help us out a bit more. 117. You know he is a traitor to the UNSC right. Spartan P. What did he do that makes him a traitor? 117. There was evidence of him selling information to the Covenant during the war but it was destroyed somehow. So we have to use the information that we have on it. Solider. Spartans the creature had escaped it killed twenty of our men and a few are injured. 117. What? I guess we have a hunt now contact UNESC we are going to need more men. How long ago did it escape? Solider. Almost two minutes ago sir. 117. Alright so it must have not traveled far so let's go now. In the cave was Spartan X. I was relaxing in the cave then I fell asleep then I started to have dream of my past of becoming a Spartan. All the pain all the lives cost to perfect it. I had died during it but somehow I came back to life the doctors were shocked and everything had felt different. But now that I think about I can still feel the pain of the surgery and see all the ones that died. Spartan P. Spartan X we need your help now. Can you help us? Spartan X. Sure but I'll stay away from Spartan 117. Log 8 the Hive. I made my way to the temple knowing that this would be the last place Spartan 117, Master Chief, would look. I started to go around and noticed this was not an ordinary maze it was one that can change. Every 5 to 20 minutes. So I had to make my way through quickly but I fell into a hole and landed in a chamber. It was strange there was bodies but they looked like they were there for centuries. I also noticed that there was some type of eggs in the room at the feet of the bodies. But they already seemed like that they'd hatched but it wasn't cracked it seemed like whatever it was it came out from the top. I was looking for a way out of the chamber till I heard talking coming from below me. I placed a grenade on the floor, and when it blew I heard a type of hissing I went down the hole and I was in a second chamber but it had weapons around I noticed a type of gun on the floor I knew it was not Covenants cause it had the same symbols that is around the temple it seemed damaged, but it looks like I can repair it. I was looking for a way out till I seen the hunter looking at me till a hunter, Covenant, busted through the wall between me and the other hunter I was putting, plasma grenades. On its back then the other hunter separated it head from its body just when I finished putting the last one on it. It was looking at me as if it was studying me then it left me I looked where the hunter came from. On the other side of the wall was a room filled with eggs the same ones that I saw in the previous chamber. I started looking around and I saw Covenant's bodies in the wall but they were all dead and there was a large hole through their chest. Then I started hearing hissing all around me I throw the last three grenades I had around the room and ran out as quick as I can and exited the temple. When exited Spartan 117, Master Chief, was in the front of the entrance he walked to me and took a good look at me. 117. Why are you here Spartan X this is for us only not you. Put him in the prison hall we'll ask questions later. Log 9 The Truth. Once that I was in the prison they took all of my weapons all that they left me was my Spartan armor I was sitting in the interrogation room waiting on what they had planned for me. Spartan 117 entered the room. 117. Tell me Spartan X what happened why did you have the Covenant's information during the war? Spartan X. I gave them false information. My own team helped me take down their armies and ships. If you want I do have some of the information still on me. Dr. Halsey is still around is she? 117. Yes why do you ask? Spartan X. 
Cause she gave me the plane for the mission and she is one of the few that I trust 117 that is why. 117. I'll contact her and see if she will come to speak with you. But for now you must remain in this room, all right, Spartan. One more thing I'll let you work on this thing that you found in that temple and give you some tools if you stay deal. Spartan X. Deal. The next day. Dr. Halsey. Spartan X, it has been a long time since I last seen you, isn't it? Spartan X. It has and here is the copy of the false information that you told me to give to the covenants it did help. Dr. Halsey. I'm surprised that you've kept this for so long. This will help you to clear your name. What is that? That you're working on? Spartan X. It is a weapon of some kind. I found it in the temple on this planet. It seems like it can be repaired, but I'll attach it to my suite. Dr. Haley. I never seen any writing that it written on it. It's very strange but fascinating in a temple you say this planet is uninhabited the last time I checked with intelligent life but there was none. Will you help us one last time? Spartan X. Sure. I will help you with DNA and the weapons of these creatures. Log 10 The Xenomorphs A small group of men and I even my old team went to the temple after I repaired the weapon and customized it to my armor similar to how the hunters has theirs on their shoulder ready to fire at all time. We had approached the temple we seen some movement in the entrance. Once that we had approached the entrance we heard hissing in the dark temple. We had gotten out our weapons ready for anything that were to come out from the temple. We all entered the temple slowly some people were taking photos of the writing on the walls. Then one by one soldiers were missing all we heard was their weapons fall to the ground the rest of us was on high alert keeping an eye out for anything before I know it it was only me and my team it seems as if everyone had disappeared. Then we saw some movement ahead of us we all walked slowly to it then I took aim and fired at it. It was hot but ran off we went to its position to see if there was blood but there wasn't only acid melting through the floor. Then we saw an arm on the floor it seems that it must have belonged to that thing we shot I grabbed it but it was leaking blood but it was strange the blood was a type of acid. We all started hearing hissing around us so we ran to the exit as quickly as we could while hearing footsteps running after us. Till I turned around a shot at it it died after the shot it seems it has no armor I had approached it till one jumped down and tried to kill me but I blocked it by my gun. It was a strange looking creature it was all black it was trying to claw my face till I used the gun that was on my shoulder and blasted its head off of its body then I dragged its body out of the temple once that I was out I noticed that night was close which means it will be dangerous for any soldiers to be out. Part 1 The Night Battle once that night had fallen I had noticed more movements in the forest even more than usual there was hissing and branches breaking some of our men were going missing one by one we had called for an evac cause this mission is more like a suicide mission only five soldiers doctor. Halsey, Spartan 117 and my group of Spartans and I are the only ones that has remained. We had called for an evac but our evac won't be until the morning of this world which is in seven hours but what had happened to our men in the temple I doubt that most of us would last the seven hours. We had set up almost half of our automatic turrets around the area in case of any of the aliens backslash creatures of this world were to enter and kill us off. Spartan D. Is there any sign of the men that was lost in the temple? Spartan X. No. Spartan D. Well, I hope that they are okay. Deep in the nest. Soldier 1. Help someone please help get this thing out of me HHH. Screeching. Soldier 2. For the galaxy. Please someone anyone please help these thing are fast growing please kill us. The base research lab. Spartan X. D. Daughter Halsey, did you found out anything from this body of the creature that is in the temple and possibly outside? Dr. Hasley. I'm not very sure its blood is acid and it is really hard to tell what it could have eaten. The best thing is that we take it off world and study it then this is a find of the centuries. Soldier. 
Spartan X, we need you. It seems as if there is a hunter outside of the perimeter, and it seems like it's coming this way. Spartan X. All right, I'll be right there. Make sure we have some plasma grenades and a rocket launcher as well. It will help take it down fast. Soldier. Yes, sir. As Spartan X ran to the area where the hunter was spotted, Spartan 117 was making his was to the ammunition room to give Dr. Halsey a weapon so she could protect herself. Once that Spartan X had arrived, most of the men were killed not by the hunter but by the others that looks like the Covenants, but they do have many physical resemblance to the creatures in the temple. Part 2 Evac To Earth Throughout the night the Spartans and the other soldiers had fought off most of the creatures till the sun started to rise then soldiers started to have the advantage cause now they can see the targets. Then three evac. Pelicans had arrived to take the remaining surviving soldiers off the planet Spartan X was holding off remaining creatures and placing the last automatic turrets to help get off world once that it was in place Spartan X ran to the last pelican before it took off. Once they were away from their base it has started to be overrun with the creatures. 117. What do we tell HU about what was on that planet? Spartan X. I'm not sure on that but if they see me they're still going to arrest me then execute me since I have the evidence to prove that I did not commit treason. Dr. Halsey. Don't worry Spartan X we can clear your name now with the saved information that you've kept. Spartan N. Does anyone know where we are going? Dr. Halsey. Yes. We're going to Earth to let them know what we found on that planet. Spartan X. Earth man, I haven't been there in such a very long time ever since I was accused for treason. Spartan P. Dr. Halsey, how are we going to hide Spartan X? They'll kill him if they see him. Dr. Halsey. I do have a few ideas, but we're going to have to change your armor, Spartan X. Spartan X. I'll possibly expect it, but there is no guarantee that I'll do it. Pilot. All right, get prepared for slip space. Everyone, we're going to Earth. As soon as they had entered, slip space, the unknown spaceship had appeared the same one that had destroyed the UNSC. Eagle. But a small craft to go to the planet. Earth's solar system. Spartan D. So what are we going to do now? How are we going to tell them about what happened on that planet? 117. When we arrived you all must call me. Master Chief. So they won't get suspicious especially you X. Alright Halsey put the information of X in his files to help clear his name after that we tell what happened on that planet. As soon as they landed on Earth their pelican was surrounded by soldiers armed and ready to fire. Master Chief was the first one off the pelican, and when the soldiers saw him they put down their weapons till Spartan X was seen they had their guns locked on him till Master Chief told them to stand down. Then they were escorted to the Supreme Court to give the information that they had on the planet, as well as Spartan X. But till then they handcuffed Spartan X and brought him to a prison. For over 16 weeks he'd be in that prison but he never broke in prison no amount of interrogation had made him break no matter how painful it was. After a few weeks the Supreme Court had seen the information of Spartan X and cleaned his record and set him free from prison and gave him back his rank in the army and he was given a new task. Part 3 The Temple on Earth When Spartan X was released the U.N.S.C given him and his team a mission. Headquarter had gave them all the information that they had but it didn't seem enough to know what they might go up against. When they arrived at the South Pole a snowstorm had started to form that had to stay in the research base till the storm clears. There were a few soldiers around the base it was unknown what had happened or what they had found but to get soldiers it must be serious. Once that the storm had cleared I was shown to a tunnel that leads 600 feet under the ice which the Spartans were the first to go down. Once that they had reached the bottom they saw a temple similar to the one on planet X there was still some ice on the temple it was damaged by being under the ice for a very long time it seems that the inside has not collapsed then a few researchers and a few Covenant soldiers had came down as well to see it. We couldn't waste much time if the type of aliens that we fought at the temple on planet X if they had lived for so long, 
We have set up a few weapons for preparation of what might show. As they entered the temple a similar ship from Planet X had appeared at Earth atmosphere and released three pods to the temple's location three miles away from the base where the research will be taking place while the Spartans were preparing for their investigating to the temple and to see if it has any similarities to the one on Planet X. It now seems that a new war is about to begin that had started centuries ago, but the human race will be evolved more than ever. Part 4 The Disaster in the Temple as the research team was investigating the temple the hunters that was on Planet X had attacked the research base bodies hung throughout the halls and having their throats slashed. While the research team was still at the entrance of the temple the queen was being lifted from its slumber after being frozen for many years once that it had fully awoken it had roared loudly even the research team had heard it Spartan X knew what it means. Soon the creatures from the last time shall begin to show. He had told everyone to stay together while him and his team of Spartans went to contact the base for an extraction but no one had responded they knew something was wrong so they climbed up to the surface when they did they went to the base once that they did it was a mess bullet holes everywhere and blood they did not found a single survivor till. They opened a closet there was a scientist she seemed traumatized she didn't want to leave the closest but Spartan X had left the others in the room so he could look for the communication center. But when he had arrived in the room all of the equipment was destroyed they were sitting ducks for whatever had attacked the base. Then the radio from the research team was sending a distress signal whatever was happening was not good he had ran past the others and went down to the research team. Once that he had arrived he had noticed that the automatic turrets were destroyed and drained from their power cell then he heard screams from the temple he had ran into the temple not knowing what is awaiting within the temple. But he was being watched by a hunter the hunter had followed him into the temple keeping a close eye on him. Once that the Spartan had entered twenty feet away from the entrance was the transmitter he had went to it when he tried to pick it up it was covered in slime. He looked around and he found no one around it all that he had saw was movement around the walls. Once that he had found the beacon it was covered in an unknown slime then he had noticed the same creatures from Planet X was around him so he pulled out his weapon and was ready to fight off what was coming his way. Log 11 The Maze Once that Spartan X had killed a few of the xenomorphs he had to leave the area due to more of them coming out of every corner then the room started to change the part of the temple that the research team were in was a maze that changes every five minutes. Before he knew it he was trapped in a room it had a small opening he looked through it he noticed an elite and the hunter from Planet X was there it seemed like they were going to have a fight but the hunter did not have its mask on. Then when the fight was going to start a doorway opened behind him he left the room and found a broken bridge he jumped it and made it once that he did he walked carefully the rest of the way. In the hall that was across the bridge then he noticed some statues of the hunters then a few feet away from the bridge he stopped behind him was the hunter. Spartan X. Why are you following me I don't want to harm you. The hunter did not spoke it was pointing its laser behind Spartan X when he turned around the hunter fired and it had shot a xenomorph that was on the roof the hunter shown Spartan X a map of the temple it wasn't on a piece of paper or a pad it was like a hologram on it right arm it had also shown him the queen of all the xenomorphs. It did not spoke but it did show Spartan X what he has on him was a bomb to destroy the temple and everything within three miles they decided to work together to destroy the temple. When they ran into the nest with the eggs the research team was in the wall all dead but one was nearly dead it was a covenant elite. Elite. Spartan you must not let these things leave the temple if they do the world will be dying out in a matter of weeks please kill me before this thing in me kills me. Spartan X had shot him in the head then threw several grenades around the hive then the hunter dropped the bomb and they ran out of the temple once that they reached the transporter but once that they did they started to be surrounded by an army of xenomorph that had covenant similarities if they wanted to leave they had to kill them which that don't have much time they only have five minutes to leave before the bomb goes off. Part 5 The Queen once that the xenomorphs were starting to regroup one hunter with an elite had came from the temple and helped to kill some of the xenomorphs and have Spartan X the time to get the lift ready to launch they all grabbed on on 
and they were moving in high speed and they were launched out of the tunnel. Once that they were out they started to run the bomb had went off the ice above the temple was starting to fall for the next mile. Once that it was all over they marked us with a strange symbol. Once that they thought it was over a few feet behind them the ice was breaking put it was being pushed upwards rising from it was the queen of the xenomorphs had came out. I pulled out my assault rifle and threw a few grenades on it but it seems that it didn't work on the thing. This huge bitch must be really strong a lot stronger than the others the two hunters had used a bladed disc which sliced the queen's neck she knocked us all away from her she ran off. Then a few pelican had came to retrieve them to the base. The hunters had vanished without a trace we were extracted and forced into the research base we told what we had found and what had happened we shown some photos and videos on the temple and some samples as well. Not much has shown up about what type of stone that they had used to create the temple it is not in the periodic table it must have been a mix of many types of stone. Six days after our research we had gotten word that they had gotten the queen and they are transporting it to a research lab I told them a warning of it but they were not listening to me this seems like it is going to start a new war or continue an old war. Log 12 The Escape of the Queen and Growth of Population once that the U.N.S.C had retrieved the queen from the South Pole and decided to transport it to an uninhabited planet, but the only structure was a research base back in the war with the Covenant it was still operating but the ship with the queen was attacked by a Covenant ship it seems they there is still some fighting the humans. Spartan X had gotten into a ship and went to help the cargo ship to get rid of its unwanted guests. Once that the numbers were low enough the ship had left into slip space unknowingly where it had gotten orders to attack the ship but they had to resume with the task at hand to transport the queen. Within several hours they had arrived at the research station but once that we did there was no response then the queen broke free from her restraints they did not want to retrieve her which was a big mistake. Once that they entered the research base they started to track down the queen but as soon as the radars lost track of it all signs of it was gone. Several hours later the queen had its egg sack and started to lay eggs in some caverns that is 36 miles away from the research base. Spartan X was called off world to help with the rebellion on a planet that was 16,000 miles away from the planet's location. Six days after the Queen was on the planet the research base had lost contact with the rest of the U.N.S.C. They had gotten a video recording before they went offline it showed an elite with the xenomorphs. After that all contracts had become unsuccessful they had to send Spartan X and his team to the planet to help re-establish contact. But outside of the planet's surface was Covenant ships but they were destroyed from an unknown weapon it was destroyed a similar way on how the Eagle was destroyed. The Unknown AI Once that Spartan X and the rest of his team was on the planet's surface the temperature of the planet has dropped the sky was turning dark while night falls with the Queen out loose there is no telling how much of the xenomorphs are around the planet. They had entered what was left of the base there was bodies everywhere but their chest had a hole in it. Then Spartan X had noticed a chip it was unknown what it was it had no codes on it I placed it into a computer system that still seemed functional. And it shows that it is an AI he searched throughout all of the UNSC files but there's no information of the AI number or its objective on why it is on this world. When it shown itself it said Greetings Spartan X I am an AI named Zexel named after the plan of bring the species that is now known as the Xenomorphs. On to this planet all of the researchers had died due to one of the life cycle of the Xenomorphs known as a face hugger. Then becomes a chest buster. Then in two to three hours depending on the air pressure and temperature it will be a fully grown Xenomorph. The power station in this base is filled with them. Spartan X had helped lead a small team to the lower level in the power station in the base to turn the power back on while my old team was protecting the area when we were down there the temperature was 32 degrees Fahrenheit most of the soldiers was guarding the exit to prevent any unwanted guests to show its ugly face. 
When I reached the switch I heard hissing I flipped it as quick as I could then it made a large sound it caused several of the xenomorphs to show up some had some of the body features as the covenant most of the soldiers ran out but were dragged into small tunnels and the stairs all of the men were being taken in tunnels or killed so I ran out with three survivors and punched the button to close the door. When the door closed we can still hear gunshots then silence we had re-established connection to the UNSC to tell them what has happened the ship that was supposed to take us off the planet was called off for a rebellion not far away so we had to wait for two days on this world till it comes back for us which it is going to be a challenge to survive the night in this world. The Hunter's Ship When the Pelican had arrived at the EVAC Point the xenomorph started to swarm the ship we had to keep our distance while shooting them the blood that they have is an unknown acid that melts almost anything. The ship had gotten full due to the equipment and data that we had to retrieve before it were to be lost due to this infestation the last of the pelican had arrived to pick us up till it was shot down the xenomorphs that had came out of the covenants has a very large amount of intelligence to be able to use weapons of ours and covenant. I had gotten a distress signal from a location only half a click away from my location so a small group and I went to the location. When we had arrived we saw a ship it had no one around so we gotten in and we were getting off the planet. Once that the door closed I looked around and I quickly noticed that we were not in AU.N.S.C ship it was nothing that I had ever seen till I had noticed a mask like the hunters then it all became clear to me we were in the hunters ship. I drew out my weapons and so did the others that was with me. Then we were surrounded by the hunters there was six to eight in the room with us I didn't know if we had to fight our way out or we are going to be killed on the spot. Then what seems like the leader had shown up in front of me it did not had a mask on but it did had the same strange mark that I had gotten on earth when it looked at it it turned around and walked away. It seemed that we were expected for now but we had to keep our guard up in case of anything that were to happen. As Spartan X and the last bit of his crew was in the ship a room with a hunter was lying down motionless till its chest buster opened and out of it was a xenomorph fresh out of the hunter and has features of the hunter. Log 13 The Predalian I was walking around the ship looking for any escape pods till I stumbled upon a room with glass containers with face huggers and some floods that had somehow survived their extermination then behind me was a hunter it pointed to the doorway out I did not want to overstay my boundaries in the ship. All of my men stood in the same spot they refused to leave the spot it was quite in the ship I walked around the room and noticed a trophy case of what these hunters had hunted till the entire ship had shook then it had repeated once more but more aggressively. Then the ship had started to go down we were heading to a planet that was populated with humans we were going to the planet in a rapid speed. Once that we had entered the planet's atmosphere the ship started to fall apart then we had crash landed in a wooden area of the planet. Once that the ship had crashed I was almost unconscious running past us was a xenomorph, but it had some similarities to the hunters. Just before I was about to be unconscious I sent a distress beacon to give the U.N.S.C my location. Two hours had passed and I had woken up I had checked if any of my men had survived but none of them had survived the crash so I gotten out of the ship I left the beacon in the ship to retrieve my men and any of the hunters bodies that remains. I walked four miles till I noticed two bodies of people on the ground I went to see if they were alright but they were dead it seems that died by that xenomorph till I turned their bodies and noticed a hole in their chest it seems that the face huggers had also survived the crash. I was walking back to the ship till it had blown up with the light of the explosion I was able to see a hunter running away from it it seems that the hunter is now on a hunt for this xenomorph that helped crash the ship and the others that is still around. I tried to follow the hunter but it was no good then I noticed lights from flashlights then it had started to rain which was not good at all this gives the xenomorphs the advantage in the darkness. Part 6 The New Hive with a New Queen I went to the group of people with the flashlights and told them to turn it off but they took shots at me believing that I could be a covenant that still believe in the great journey till a sniper gotten a good look at me and told them to stop and it was a Spartan. 
They all shined their light in my direct, and they saw my ex they all pulled up their weapons on me till the hunter that I saw showed up from behind one of the people and slid his throat then the hunter had vanished without a trace. In the sewer system the half-breed and a few xenomorphs were creating a hive but it would not have the giant queen the half-breed would be the queen of this hive. The UNSC was contacted by Spartan X to travel to the planet and evacuate most of the population till the xenomorphs and the hunter can be located. Spartan X was looking at one of the hunter's masks trying to understand how they can see the xenomorphs in the dark. Zeal. Spartan X what is this strange mask that you have in your hand? Spartan X. It is the same mask that the hunters wear over their face I'm trying to figure out how does it work and how can they see the xenomorphs in the dark. Our night vision could barely catch them or anything but the hunters can somehow. Zeal. That is strange of the design of the mask it might have some information that we could use. Spartan X was walking in the woods till he had discovered a covenant ship that was once infested with flood. Spartan X has found some tracks that was leading into the ship it was no human or animals that was known and it was not xenomorph tracks either. He started to look around the ship and it seems to be abandoned nothing was inside of it till he had saw the hunter taking samples of dead covenant troops that was infected by the flood. The hunter had blasted the direction of Spartan X and ran off then Spartan X ran after it to see if it has a ship. While chasing the hunter the ground below Spartan X had collapsed and he fell into the sewer system that was once an evacuation tunnel and on the walls was signs of a xenomorph hive under development. Spartan X. Zeal what do you make of this? Zeal. The chemical formulation of this if strange it seems to be a mix of carbon and nitrogen the rest has yet to be fully decoded but it is used for the hive it is also weak to extreme heat. Flames can cause it to burn quickly and it is unknown on the exact temperature that is required. Spartan X. I guess it is time to go back before we get some unwanted visitors coming our way. We also need my team here to help search the tunnels these can stretch for miles across cities, or maybe the planet. As Spartan X left the tunnels the hunter had entered them and started to place traps within the individual that leads to the next one with more traps than the next, and it is incredibly challenging to see the traps. Log 14. The Extermination my team was being sent to this planet to help kill the xenomorph infestation that is growing but the population is unknown of the xenomorph. Some of the face huggers that had survived the crash had been captured but the rest had already had selected their host to create the xenomorph but this type of problem can be worse from the war with the covenant and the flood. Once that they had arrived a small army was sent with them as well I took them all to the woods where the tunnels were which we all have to explore. Spartan X. All right, everyone, these xenomorphs are dangerous since that it is dark in the tunnels, it is unknown if they could be hiding in every corner. But there is a second danger, which is a hunter that hunts these bugs, so you have to be extra careful, or else it will not take a second thought to end you. Zeal. It is true on the hunter, but to scare away and of the xenomorph is to use flames like most animals, it is afraid of it. Also the hive material is able to burn when extensive heat is exposed to it. Spartan X. So those that has any flame thrower or anything that can produce any fire you will walk in front with us Spartans the rest watch the back we don't fully know what they are capable of. We will also lose contact while we're going deeper into the system. We'll also enter an old supply storage where we might also find some weapons so let's get to the hive and extinguish this hive before it spreads into the city. As they made their way through the old escape tunnels the Predalian was within the sewer system and into the closest city to expand the hive. The hunter was within the trees watching and waiting for any type of xenomorph would exit till it heard hissing above it once that it looked a xenomorph charged at the hunter and tackled it to the ground from the tree. The city in danger. The Spartans and what is left of their group had reached to the old supply room they had only six people that survived from most of the xenomorphs they slammed the door and locked it. It was quite till an old radio broke the silence. Attention any available personnel of the UNSC a city is being attacked by an unknown animal most of our weapons could barely hurt it. 
The animal is all black with a very long tail has hair only on, hissing. Oh God no please you h h h h. The radio was cut to an emergency warning to prevent anyone to enter the city but with an escape hatch in the room that the Spartans were in they were able to leave. The hunter had killed the xenomorph just when it was going to take the head it had intercepted the message and tracked it down into the city. The rain had began to fall the sky was dark lightning could barely light the sky. Then a UNSC Pelican ship began to enter the planet's atmosphere till the lightning had struck one of the engine and made it shut down which made it crash into a power station which cut all the power throughout the city. Spartan X was the last to climb the ladder till parts of it started to break due to the years of it being underground and very rusted the one he grabbed had broke once that he did and so did all of the others that he tried to grab to stop he fell to the very bottom to the supply room. Spartan X. All of you get going now find another way out you all help the city now I'll meet you all at your current location so get going. Once that he was about to leave the room a grenade had fell and it had its pin pulled Spartan X tried to get out of the room but it was too late the grenade had exploded and with that it knocked Spartan X unconscious. Meanwhile the rest of his team was on their way to the city in danger with the xenomorph hybrid. While unconscious Spartan X was having flashbacks in his past on the day that he was getting the augmentation remembering the pain the loss of lives even the loss of his own life. Once that they were moving his body out he had shown signs of life and gotten up with no signs of brain damage or anything he was tested for six weeks and he was cleared to join an elite Spartan program. This program was a secret till the war with the Covenant had started they were dispatched after Spartan 117 and his crew had destroyed the first Covenant ship. They were not assigned numbers instead given the first letter in their name as their new name. The secret Spartan program was called Spartan Exile. There was only ever six that had even been in it they would be often sent out on suicide mission that most would not dare to touch. Remembering my first mission. It was our first mission before the war with the Covenant we were supposed to stop a civil war that was about to be declared we were sent off to help prevent this civil war but when we arrived people were fighting one another a riot was happening all around as our mission was to help all of the people who were trapped and stop the leaders on both sides that planned the civil war. Once that we had apprehend them and transported them off world for trial. Not long after the planet was attacked by the Covenant, and most of the population was killed off since then we were always sent on suicide missions that make others to not touch. Our first mission was to try to take a Covenant ship which seemed impossible at first, but for us it was too easy the only hard part was to capture the command center there was too many hunters guarding the entrance, till we put some protoplasma grenade on the front of their necks which blew their heads off. Once that we took control the ship was set to self-destruct in a small amount of time at the time we didn't knew much about their technology to stop the countdown so we had to escape one of our Spartan named M. She stood behind and held off any remaining Covenant still trying to kill us once that we made it to the hangar only two ships were left. So we had to take one but Spartan M she didn't made it on time and the ship blew up just before she could escape we didn't mourn for her sacrifice we kept doing what we were told and always risked our lives every mission to bring peace till I was exiled. I soon found out that Spartan M was recovered but she passed away shortly after due to her injuries. After being unconscious for a bit I lifted all of the rubble that was on me and my weapons and left the tunnels and avoiding all of the traps that might have been placed to prevent any of the xenomorph to escape. I tried to get in contact with the others as I did but all that I was able to get was distress signals from people that are holding off the xenomorph infestation and preventing it from spreading. Just when I gotten out of the tunnels a message went out to every signal. This is the U.N.S.C. Planetary Defense. We are launching a Category 5 warhead to wipe out this unknown infestation. All civilian and military personnel must evacuate from the town by a 62-mile radius. This only gives you all five minutes to evacuate the area now. With the time given it was enough to go back to the base and take a pelican to help with the evacuation. Part 7 The New Spartan 
After the evacuation a nuke was dropped in the center of the town and spread for 16 miles nothing was left. The crater was 15 miles deep in the ground nothing seemed to survive. We all left off world and we had gotten some new orders to return to the U.N.S.C base that is orbiting planet X. We also gotten a massage from an unknown communication line Zeal was tracking it down to the satellite when we arrived I noticed that the planet's surface was black as if it was scorched by a firebomb. We arrived on the base and we were greeted with a new member to our team her name and our team was Spartan A. She was a strange one during our training to become Spartans. After the augmentation she was sent off to improve on her mental state since she had suffered major brain damage. She walked up to me and looked at me she told us to follow her to the bridge. We arrived and we saw the images of what happened to planet X's surface it was scorched like how reach was when it fell. Spartan A. This happened 24 hours after the evacuation, when you all first found the aliens. We still don't know what might have caused it but by judging the on the amount of land that was destroyed we have a possible suspect. We have a few images of a few Covenant ship leaving the system. It is hard to know if they could are still building an army to restart the war. Spartan P. This is hard for us to believe since we don't have much to prove that the Covenant had done that to the planet. Spartan X. It wasn't the Covenant look closely at the image it is the Hunter's ship leaving the planet so we have two now. We must search for them and know what they are. Oh, and Spartan A welcome to our team. The Spartan team entered a pelican and went to the planet's surface to investigate what might have truly happened. When they arrived they found a camp site of Covenant troops that has a large amount of weaponry. The Unknown Transmission After finishing of most of the Covenant seal was receiving an unknown transmission it was unknown on its location we needed to get to higher ground to get a clear enough transmission. It was a little more challenging since that the Covenant forces had a base on the mountain. The Spartans took it over and was able to to get the transmission it was a distress signal from a supply it was under attack by Covenant forces. It was unknown on what they wanted we were able to translate it and found out that it was a form of location. We copied the location and left. We arrived at the location and it seems to be a large hideout for Covenant that still believes in the great journey but when we released the drone we noticed a forerunner structure it was damaged but it was still operational with a large piece of a halo ring on it. My team and I made our way to it. We located it and it was an old forerunner signal it was unknown on what it was saying so we took it but we had to fight our way through a large amount of Covenant forces. We arrived to the UNSC ship called, The Burner. It was a newer UNSC ship released about a month ago. We translated what the signal said but it was no distress signal it was a message. To all life that survived the flood congratulations you had completed what we couldn't do. But that fight was only the beginning only a few species has the immunity to the floods. One known as the xenomorphs they can change their body depending on the host that it hatched out of either the front of the host or the back. If in any case both happen to be blocked they will leave the host's body one way or the other. Some of them can have a form of mutation some can grow larger, shoot acid, grow wings, have a large head that is extremely hard, and can even run faster and even swim in most liquids. The other that hunts them like a sport there is not much information only a halo ring station near their home world of planet X in the purple sun galaxy has some information. The war during the floods. As soon as the UNSC arrived at planet X the Spartans took a ship to go to the halo ring that was nearby. They loaded up on some weapons. But Spartan X was working on the weapons that he has gotten from the hunters he grabbed a prog knife in case of any close combat and his modified shotgun then. When they entered the ring's gravitational pull, they saw a docking station that still seemed to be stable enough. They entered the station once that they did, they found a monitor on the ground it was out of power. The Spartans restored the power to the station and was able to get the monitor operational. Good day reclaimers how may I be of service today? Spartan X asked about the weapon that the hunter gave him. 
Remarkable you must have a great level of strength to get one of those from a Yaucha. They are both strong and very intelligent with that you can be really powerful. Spartan X asked about what the Monitor knew about the Yaucha. I will tell you the history of them and what happened during the war with the floods. During the war with the floods the Forerunners was almost out of all options till a mysterious species of hunter appeared they were immune to the floods which the Forerunners found interesting they studied the blood but couldn't find anything out of them. The genetics couldn't be replicated so they couldn't be added into the collection. They soon showed a new form of species known as the Xenomorph it was a great type of weapon. It too was immune to the floods but when the battle was about to reach to the climax the halo rings were all activated only a few of the Yautja and Xenomaphas including a few queens survived. The forerunners gave the Yautja a small gift which was lost when the halo rings were activated. The Xenomorph was sent to a planet with the name G-435 with the proper averment for them to thrive in. The planet is 61.4 light years from the planet that humans were assigned on. The Yaucha had a home planet called Prime. It is a dry planet with rivers of lava and scorching hot deserts, but it also has wet and thick jungle biome. That is all of the data I have on them both. Would you like to see the data of the home worlds that had been calculated over the centuries? When the monitor finished talking a brute jumped down destroying the monitor. You all leave now you demons! All of the Spartans pulled out their weapons and started to fire at the brute, but he knocked everyone except for Spartan X. He pulled the Yauch's gun and shot the brute's head clean off. Soon enough, Hay all started to get surrounded by a small platoon of struggling Covenant forces that still believe in the Great Journey. Spartan X grabbed the memory core of the monitor, and they raced back to the ship and traveled back to the U.N.S.C ship that they were brought in. They began to scan the Oracle's memory core to see any additional information that they could use. Log 15 Taking Back Reach When Reach fell it was a great impact to humanity till my team and I were dispatched to take back a base that hasn't been glassed to see if we can take back Reach. We pick a large base that could be the best for defense and to hold our position. When we got in the green light... We jumped out of the ship and landed on a mountain about twenty clicks away from the base we looked around and noticed how much Covenant forces have taken the planet. We had to move stealthy to go to the base without letting them know that we are on the planet. As we approached to the base, we noticed a few vehicles to help us the only one that seemed operational enough was the M808B Scorpion tank it was damaged, but it was able to drive. After blasting through a few banshees that was scouting the area we had to leave the tank and continue the mission on foot which didn't hold for very long when we were ambushed by six birds, five elite, ten grunts and two hunters that was in the area, but we took them down without much difficulty since we faced larger amounts in other missions. We reached to the top of the mountain above the base and scouted it. Spartan P and Spartan N were on sniper position while the rest of us went down to the base as we did. We took out a few jackals along with a few grunts we all entered the base before any banshee were to spot us. We moved slowly and quietly around the base till we noticed an elite it was an honor guard we moved away knowing that it wasn't our objective to kill too many it was to take back a base. As we reached the min station, we had faced heavy fire fighting with a bunch of Covenant forces we entered a room that had blast-proof doors we only had a small amount of time before they found a way and so I told everyone to exit the window and come from behind while I fire in the front. As they did, I prepared myself to take them all down I took out a stun grenade and gotten ready to open the door as they did, I threw the grenade stunning a few while I fire taking down 10 or 15 before my team helped from coming out behind them. We reached to our objective but the power to the place was cut, and the only way to get it all up was to enter the four generator rooms in the lower levels. I went alone since the four generators are in the same area. I was able to get three of them up but the final one was destroyed by a hunter but the three generators were enough to give most of the base enough power to send a beacon to the U.N.S.C to let them know that we take back the base and we need a pickup but by doing that most of the covenant forces that was around began to make their way to our 
location we all made our way to the armory to load up on ammunition. As we locked the door in the armory, we loaded up on ammunition I pulled a map of the base and noticed that the heavy artillery was two floors down. We had a 50% to survive I looked at the map and noticed a quick way to get to the storage that may contain a pelican I sent everyone to take it while I alone took on the oncoming forces. They all escaped through the ventilation shaft as I busted through a window down three floors to the ground. I started to take on every Covenant one my own it was going smoothly till they all retreated and a Covenant ship came close and coming down from it was three elites they were. Imperial Marshal, Zillow class. I knew that it was going to be hard to kill them and these three were bigger than the other elites, but they will fall. I slapped a plasma grenade on one that had silver armor which blew him up the one wearing gold armor punched me the leader grabbed me and pulled out his energy sword. I grabbed my knife and stabbed his eye out I grabbed my shotgun and shot him in the chest. The last one stood in front of me I smiled as we both looked at each other waiting to see who will strike first till it ran off I turned around and noticed a pelican landing behind me Spartan P and Spartan N came out and dragged me in. As we left, I noticed several U dot N dot S dot C ships going to the base and began to take out all Covenant forces that was heading their way. Reach was soon ours again after the Covenant left all of its remaining forces behind. The Homeworld When the Oracle, Monitor, Memory Core was fully scanned we located the homeworld of the Xenomorph it was under debate if we should destroy the planet to prevent any future outbreak and prevent any of them being sold as a weapon. But before that the U.N.S.C sent a small group of scientists onto the planet along with a ship full of ODST but within a week all contact was lost a recovery team was sent but it only took two days till the UNSC gotten a distress signal. Spartan X and his team were called in to find out what has happened on the planet a few elites, grunts and sixteen jackals joined them to help out with any unwanted attention. When they landed on the planet, they found the base camp it was abandoned they searched everywhere till they found the body of a scientist. A series of videos was on the computer they gained access to them. Day 1 First Encounter As we landed and built up a base camp, we found plenty of these xenomorph we captured one, and as you can all see this looks like a fully grown adult. We're planning to put a tracker and mark it to tell it apart from the others. We hope to find out more of these xenomorph if these animals are like high based or are they independent. Day 2, The Nest We found out that the xenomorph lives in a hive with all of the information that we had we know that they come from an egg when it opens it releases a spider-like creature that can latch on to almost any head and impregnate whoever it chooses similar to a parasite. We lost military personnel by one he will be kept in an enclosed space to see how it comes out. Day 3 they evolve. It came out of the person's chest it took 24 hours. But we finally gotten a specimen for our tests all we need to do is to wait for it to grow. It seems that this baby xenomorph is like a parasitic buster tapeworm. It rips so much a part of the man's body that most of his organs are gone. Day 4 unnamed. They re all around us we can hold them off run to the ship now they're worse than the flood. As the video ended a scientist came out of a closet, he was traumatized we had to tranquilize the scientist and bring him to the U.N.S.C ship we arrived in. We raised our weapons as we heard some roaring that was on its way to us. Log 16 Invade the Hive After we killed off the horde of xenomorph that invaded our base we went to the location of the xenomorph hive if we can nuke it, they could all die out to prevent any future incident. I got in a bag with the nuke and some extra weapons, my team and I went down. As we continued going down, we kept hearing the xenomorph hissing and running around climbing up the walls and going into the walls as we walked quietly around the hive. I noticed a few xenomorphs dead they had blade-like fatalities and gotten their heads blasted off. We all moved carefully in the hive as we moved in the hive. We noticed equipment from all of the soldiers and scientists all over the floor. As I took point the floor under me fell, I fell along with it down 1200 feet I landed on my feet, 
and told my team to keep pushing forward while I found my way out. As I did, I noticed a few xenomorphs sleeping in the wall so I walked slowly past them to not wake them. I was walking around in the hive till something knocked me from behind. When I came to, I noticed a xenomorph was dragging me till I pulled out my magnum and killed it. I got up and noticed I had no other weapons I took down a few that was faster than the others, dog slash runner xenomorph. I found an assault rifle it was covered with a type of slime and next to it was a helmet of an ODST I pulled the AI chip to find a recording it shows the ODST and his team running and shooting xenomorph. A larger xenomorph, Reno xenomorph, charged at them their own bullets bouncing off it. It charged at them and other running them down while a few were confused a pack of xenomorph, drone, began to attack all that was left was the screaming of the men. As I gotten up a pair of dog tags fell when I picked it up I noticed who it belonged to, a former member of my team. A great sacrifice. As my team and I were about to be deployed to a planet that was heavily protected with Covenant forces we gotten a last minute recruit it was a Sangaili we all looked at each other till the general walked in with him. Listen here Spartans this Sangaili defected from the Covenant to rare occurrence but nothing too different. Anyways he will help you all get through the blockade that is surrounding the planet Stigma a Covenant weapons testing factory we believe that they might have a new weapon the only image we have does make it look like a power generator by any chance it could be a bomb. The Sangili stopped the general. Listen sorry to intrude but that is what you all call a slip space drive it is small enough to fit in a phantom that can carry a stealth and recon group. The general looked confused then took a second look at the image. Spartan, your main objective is to get that slip space drive then destroy the factory the Sangaili will help you all in. You all will be equipped with stealth equipment. As they all left to their ship the general pulled Spartan X and told him to kill the Sangaili if he shows a chance to betray them. As they took off to Stigma Spartan X tried to have small talk with the Sangaili to get some information out of him. What made you want to help us? The Sanji highly sighed. If you must know I lost my fate with the Covenant after a close comrade of mine was accused of heresy and sentenced to death, and now I would like for nothing more but to see them all pay. I might not know if any of this to work. Spartan X gave him a set of dog tags. Here since you're a part of our crew you'll need it if you ever get lost or killed you will be honored by the help. The Sangalhaili grabbed the dog tag and started to put the insignia of the Sangalhaili people. As they arrived at the planet, they went past the blockade we arrived onto the planet's surface they hid in the ship Spartan X grabbed a nuke and a virus software to erase all information of the new slip space drive. The other Spartans grabbed all of the weapons that they can carry. The Sangalhaili held his carbine and brushed some insignia that was scratched on it. Spartan X gave the Sangle highly an energy blade but instead of the blue color it was a purple color. When they landed, they all activated their clocking and went to the factory, and they soon noticed that the workers were slaves both of humans and Covenant. Spartan X reloaded his battle rifle and turned to Spartan D and Spartan P. I need the two of you to create a distraction while the rest of us take the nuke and the virus to the base and erase that drive and destroy this factory save as many people as possible. Sangle highly you're with me now let's go. As they entered the factory four hunters stood in front of them all with energy shield the Sangle highly stabbed one with his energy sword but to of no effect. The shield didn't go down no matter how much was done the shield wasn't weakened. The Sanjali highly gotten a ghost and rammed into a hunter taking down the shield just before the other three were about to fire at the Sangle highly Spartan N and Spartan S hit two of the hunters with gravity hammers Spartan X and the Sanjali highly ran towards the control room when they did the Sanjali highly slashed the door with his energy blade. So it wouldn't open. As Spartan X was installing the virus the Sanjali highly turned to Spartan X and aimed his carbine rifle. Spartan P and Spartan D began to blow up several fuel station, while the human slaves began to run towards the Spartans as they did brutes began firing at them till Spartan N ran past them when they aimed at him Spartan S bashed them with a gravity hammer. 
as they grouped up a radio message came in from the Sanjali Highly. Spartans take a ship and leave it is unknown if we can get out in time, we're being overrun leave. Spartan D responded. If only we can but if we can, but I don't think we can. Spartan X interrupted. Spartans, there's a small convoy ship two clicks east from your positions. It is the prototype. Take it. We'll find our way out over and out. The Sanjali highly took down four Shadow Elite, while Spartan X installed the virus. Spartan X thanked the Sanjali highly and opened a door to the core of the factory core to finish the mission. The core was just off a ravine. Spartan X planted the nuke on the core and began the countdown. Once that it began, hunters began to fire at the door. The Sanjali highly gotten a message from Spartan D once that he did. He gave Spartan X his dog tags and threw Spartan X down the shaft to the ravine while the nuke went off. Spartan X fell down the ravine, his jetpack failed. He landed on a Covenant ship. Spartan D grabbed Spartan X as he began to slip off the ship. As they left the planet, the entire Covenant blockade turned to them, but before they were able to fire, Spartan P activated the slip space drive to get out with the small gap between the ships. New Mombasa October 20th, 2552, New Mombasa The Covenant ship that has the profit of regret just jumped through slip space and following it was the ship ironclad but what remains of the Covenant forces was spread around New Mombasa. Odiestes were spread around along with groups Marian several on their own mission. Only one group of Spartans were around to help hold the line. Two hornets flew past an open drop pod as they approached the center of the city one of the Spartans jumped out of the hornet. I'm at the drop-off point I'll make my way to the anti-aircraft gun. Good luck everyone. Spartan X held on to some dog tags as he jumped down the building. Spartan X, this is Holland. I will be your help throughout this. Spartan X noticed a brute breaking a sangalos over its head. Holland? Also known as Nobel Actual, am I correct? You were on reach. The leader of Nobel team also stationed on Castel Base. Holland was silent for a moment by just the shock on the information that Spartan X knew on him. Correct, Spartan. Your mission is to clear an area and remove the three anti-aircraft guns and a remaining convoy in the area and get the MAC guns online. Spartan X taken one look at his shotgun and noticed a grunt entering a building. He followed the grunt into the building and mounted a plasma turret waiting for any unsuspecting people. Spartan X snuck up and sliced the grunt's throat. Spartan X saw a brute smashing a Sanjali Hiley's head on the concrete ground. Holland radioed in. Spartan X, are you at the entire weapon? No ships can come close to the L.C if that weapon is still operational. Spartan X threw a grenade to a group of grunts. Almost there, but I'm pinned down. I have two banshee pinning me and a hunter with an energy shield. I'm out of rockets and low on ammo. Is there any type of support that can arrive at my position? Holland paused for a moment. We have a group of ODST on their way should take them about 30 minutes see if you can hold out. Just as Holland finished his sentence the entire weapon blew up killing the hunter and taking down one of the banshees. Spartan X looked at the destroyed weapon and noticed a figure that was nearly invisible jumping up the cliff. Spartan X told Holland what has happened till a Covenant drop ship dropped jetpack brutes. Spartan X pulled out his shotgun and threw his knife at a head of a brute. Just as the ODST arrived, a pelican arrived to take Spartan X from the area to take down the second anti air weapon. Halfway to the drop point, the pelican was shot by a phantom. The pilot was knocked out. Spartan X took control and shot down the phantom. He soon noticed the second weapon was already taken down. Holland, did you deploy another group to destroy the anti air weapon? Holland was confused but when Spartan X showed him what remains Holland told him to go to the AA gun then go to the convoy ship Spartan D is on his way to the final entire weapon will give you a long sword to destroy it once that the AA gun is online. Spartan P and N has the MAC gun online. Spartan X looked around and noticed a phantom on the ground in great condition. 
There is no need for that I found a phantom. Spartan X activated the phantom when he gotten it to fly he saw a few Covenant ships excavating the area around New Mombasa. Spartan X flew just above where the AA gun was stationed when he activated it a door opened up and five kids came out. Spartan X put down his weapon as he noticed that it was children. The smallest of the crew probably five looked at Spartan X in astonishment. Are you in Odesti? The oldest at the age of eight spoke to him. He can't be look he is a good eight feet, and he's not wearing the right armor. Spartan X kneeled down to them. You all should have been evacuated with all of the others why are you all here? The eldest looked straight at Spartan X and said, The bus we all were on was attacked by a big monster with a big hammer. Everyone was gone they all were on the floor we are all that is left. Spartan X gotten up and called Holland. Holland I have a situation I found five civilians children should I take them to the rally point? Holland responded with gunshots being heard in the background. Do what you can Spartan our base has been overrun forget the convoy good luck. Spartan X turned around and noticed a ship heading towards him Spartan X told the kids to get into the phantom. Once that the began to get close to a UNSC base the rest of his team began to arrive as well. Spartan D arrived on a ghost Spartan S arrived on a mongoose and finally Spartan P and N arrived in a warthog Spartan X radioed the base to let them know that he was arriving in a phantom everyone began to stand down as the phantom arrived and hovered over a landing zone. As all of the children went down to the ground Spartan X came down and noticed an engineer. He pulled out his shotgun till Buck and ODSD stopped him from shooting it. Spartan X looked at him confused till Dare came out and took the engineer into a building Buck noticed the kids. I noticed you had your hands full. Mickey, rookie take the kids off the Spartan's hands and take them to the mess they might be hungry. As Buck escorted Spartan X to the briefing room SGT. Johnson was sitting with a freshly light cigar. Welcome Spartan I have a mission for you and your team. Spartan X noticed some movement he pulled out his shotgun to a shimmer. The arbiter revealed himself. I guess you seen him already he is on our side now. Spartan X I like you to meet the arbiter he will be with me you and your team while well, you all need to help contact a friend of the arbiter to help us out at this important time. What if Spartan X was to hunt 117? This is if Spartan X was not accused of treason. Part 1 The year is 2558 The event of the Guardians was becoming known on many planets. Blue team were absent without leave and Spartan X and his team were called in by ONI to hunt down Blue team. As Spartan X and his team stood in front of the heads of ONI. The room was tense as the Spartans stood there looking up at the heads of ONI. Congratulations Spartan on helping to take down July Mdama and retrieving Dr. Halsey during this time. What would you need Spartans to hunt blue team we would have had fire team Osiris but they're out with Dr. Halsey and helping out the Arbiter. The agents of fire Osiris team could never come close to stopping the Master Chief and his team that is why you all were called here. This mission is strictly a recovery mission list on what you need. Spartan X stepped forward. We'll need five armor restraints, our suits to be updated with armor enhancements hidden weapons of energy class, grappling hooks and the Reaper one, while I get prepared give the Reaper and my team whatever else that they may need. The heads of ONI looked at each other shocked of what Spartan X said. The one that was in the center spoke up. Spartan X how did you came across the information of the Reaper all intel of him was gone and left on reach when it fell? Said Admiral Margaret confused. Spartan X looked at her and spoke. Well we were the ones on reach that found him near death's door in a covenant prison ship his helmet was gone but with his armor that was left we knew who he was so we took him to Castel base. The ONI heads all agreed to what the Spartans requested. All were shipped out to the Infinity to leave for the hunt. As a former Spartan three June jogged with several Spartan four he stopped and saw the Reaper and talked to him. Captain Lasky pulled Spartan X to the side. 
Spartan X, I know you're hunting the chief, but don't let your guard down no matter what. Please help him to get a clear vision to see what Cortana has done. Spartan X gave Lasky blank dog tags. Lasky keep this till we return. Reaper time to go everyone let's get going before this guardian is activated. We have to get to the planet now. Spartan X turned around and boarded his ship as the rest of his team loaded up and the Reaper said farewell to June. As they all left the infinity the Reaper held on to some dog tags Spartan P took notice. Are those yours or a friend of yours? The Reaper looked at her and showed her the tags. Jorge he didn't make it. The Reaper nodded as he put the dog tags to his left suit's storage. Spartan X gave everyone armor locking restraints and the Reaper gave everyone camouflage that he took from the elite ship that took fire team Osiris to Sangelos to help the Arbiter to finish off the Covenant forces that remains on the planet. As Spartan X and his team landed on the planet Meridian, they found the long sword of Master Chief and Blue Team wherein a trail was fresh and the engine were still hot Spartan X and his team followed the tail to an underground forerunner structure. They walked carefully seeing sentinels and constructors flying around as they approached a door a voice was heard. You are not permitted to enter this place leave now. As Spartan X and his team looked around trying to find the source of the voice but two Promethean knights with energy shield and a large person stepped out with a large sword. I am the Warden Eternal. You are all not permitted to enter this place leave now. Spartan X stepped forward. We're here to get the other humans that was in. The warden jumped down with his sword piercing the floor. They had permission from Cortana herself to go to her. Spartan X raised his shotgun aiming it at the warden's head he signaled his team to surround him. But the warden punched the ground creating a shock wave knocking everyone to the ground. What if Spartan X hunted 117 part 2? Spartan X and his team gotten up weapons drawn the warden called out two Promethean knights, but they had energy shields. Spartan S and Spartan N were given the task to take down the knight, while the others were to take down the warden. The reaper climbed on to the back of the warden and threw an EMP grenade into the gap in the warden's armor Spartan X shot his legs while Spartan P shot out one of the warden's eyes. Spartan D knocked down the warden as the EMP grenade went off the reaper finished off the warden with his cookery knife that he had on his shoulder. The room filled with laughter and the voice of the warden. Your fight is futile the reclamation by Cortana has already begun. Spartan X and his team left the room and ran into a room where blue team were getting closer to the guardian by teleporting pads Spartan X and his team began to do the same. They barely caught Master Chief before he entered the Guardian both Spartan X and the Reaper stopped Master Chief from entering both exposing themselves. When Master Chief saw the ONI insignia on the Reaper's armor, he said with discus, ONI. The Reaper with his gun at hand looked at Chief. The Office of Naval Intelligence has tasked us to bring you and the rest of Blue Team in no matter the cost. Chief held his assault rifle tightly with one hand. If you bring me and Cortana will have a reason to bring the Guardians towards Earth and the rest of humanity only, I can stop her. Spartan X held a small hologram showing what happened to every other place where the Guardians also came from. Do you see 117 she has already targeted and harmed humanity by using the Guardians so many injured, lost or worse? Don't make this harder than what it has to come with us we can find another way. Master Chief lowered his gun. There is no other way. He knocked the Reaper's gun out of his hands and slapped it across the Reaper's helmet. But Spartan X jumped into the air and tried to do a Spartan smash on Chief. But he missed and caused the platform that they were on to come out of place. Master Chief jumped platform to platform while Spartan X and the Reaper were closing the gap till they were all surrounded by Sentinels all blasting heated beams of energy at them Spartan X tossed the Reaper a battle rifle. As the battle the rest of Spartan X's team intercepted the rest of Blue Team to convince them that something was not right with Cortana. Spartan X and the Reaper were holding their own against the Master Chief. 
Spartan X shot his last EMP bullet and paralyzed Master Chief's left arm for a few seconds which gave the Reaper a chance to punch Chief's visor causing it to crack. The Reaper was about to take out an armor restraint but Chief threw his knife at the Reaper's hand and rushed to the Reaper to grab one of the armor restraints from the Reaper and locked him but the seconds that it took Chief to do that Spartan X locked Master Chief's armor. Spartan X tried to step back but his armor was also locked noticing the armor restraint on the lower part of his abdomen. He looked at Chief and his visor cracked and bit of his armor scorched. There is a reason why we're here 117 Cortana is no longer an AI she's forerunner now. If she would have gotten her hands on you humanity would lose your one of the keys to stop her only one other Spartan was chosen by her. The rest of Spartan X team and Blue team saw them and was impressed. Kelly noticed the ONI insignia on the Reaper's armor. ONI. She said with disgust in her voice. Fred stepped closer. I'm not sure if I should be flattered or feel more disgust with ONI or feel insulted. One headhunter and a fire team could never take us all on. Linda looked at the Reaper. Maybe they're better than what they look like. The armor restraint on Spartan X deactivated. Spartan X turned to Chief. You know 117 if you did get to Cortana what did you think that you could do she's clearly different than how she was her rampancy could have done this to her or that grave mind that she encountered in high charity. One Spartan can't keep saving the galaxy. Fried spoke up. He's right Chief we saw the images that his team showed us what she has done. I don't believe in all of it but it could be. The main thing is one Spartan can't keep saving the galaxy. How were you able to remove that armor restraint? Spartan X walked to Chief and pulled the armor restraint off. My team and I we made our armor all armor restraints and even EMP wouldn't do anything. But we have work to do as well as you blue team. Spartan X turned to the Reaper. This headhunter is an important key to all of this. The Reaper looked at Blue Team and Spartan X. Tell them who you are. Reaper looked at Spartan X and replied. The information is classified. Spartan X nodded to give the Reaper the green light. I was chosen by her just like you on Reach. My team and I followed Halsey's orders to get her to the Pillar of Autumn. If it wasn't for us Halo wouldn't have been found. I was one of the last members of my team on Reach not sure for how long I was there till his team found me. When I was asked to join this mission a sense of guilt helped me to join in this mission to bring Blue Team in. Spartan X took off the armor restraint from the Reaper. Halsey's the key to stop Cortana, said Spartan D as he jumped down a cliff next to Spartan X. We need to go this Guardian is about to leave. As the Guardian left in a slip space Spartan X and his team left with Blue Team and the Reaper on the Pelican. Fred was fascinated on the ship on how different it was from all others. Spartan P was checking any damage to Spartan X and the Master Chief armor but when it came to Chief's visor Chief rejected help to his visor Spartan P pulled out the EMP bullets that was sticking to his armor. All of Spartan X team gotten a call from ONI it was Admiral Margaret. Spartan X, what is your status with Blue Team? Spartan X responded. We have Blue Team. We found a way to stop Cortana. We are going to the one person that knows how to. She responded. That was not your order, Spartans. No, bring Blue Team to the infinity. We don't need heroes for this. We need to contain this event now. Spartan X responded while facing Blue Team. No, sir, for the best chance to counter Cortana is to beat her with her own mind. Spartan X and my team over and out. Before another word could be said, they all blocked all contact with O and I. Spartan N grabbed a large box with armor enhancement. Take your pick, we have plenty, even some from Reach. As soon as Reach left his mouth, the Reaper looked at his knife. It was strange the ship became silent till Spartan S grabbed an old brute shot. The blade shipped, and the barrel cracked, and covered with dust he put it on his back. Fred looked through the box with armor enhancement, and he pulled out an armor lock. 
Spartan X loaded up his shotgun Spartan P loaded up her sniper with armor EMP rounds Spartan D grabbed his data pad and found where their target is going to be. Okay everyone gear up we're going to Sangios. Our target is going there since a guardian is there. Linda asked who is the target. Dr. Halsey is the new target. Fred with a confused tone said. That's strange last we heard she was in Jalim Dama's hands why are they on the elite home world? Spartan X spoke up. She was but for months she has been sending messages to the infinity we were first dispatched to take him down but when he was weakened we were told to stop and return to ONI for our mission to hunt your team Yihan. A team of ONI Spartan agents was dispatched to finish our mission while we dealt with you all files will be changed to say that the Spartan team killed him and hunted you. Am I correct so far, D? Spartan D stuck up his thumb up in agreement. So it's settled we're seeing the Arbiter also known as Thelvatomy so get ready this will be a long one. Log 17 The Leakage As I made my way through the hive I found a part of the hive goes underwater it was the only to go since all other tunnels were too small for me to crawl through. Unknown to me at the time the water was just as dangerous as to walk around the hive. As I stepped in the water I noticed that it was warmer than the air. I was fully submerged as I made my way through the underwater hive there was eggs and some sleeping xenomorphs in the walls I soon noticed a light coming from the roof as I reached the surface I noticed my team walking just ahead of me when I surfaced out of the water I caught up with me team and noticed scratch marks and burns on their armor. I gave them orders to secure an exit which was a large ravine that lead to the surface they agreed as I took the nuke to the heart of the hive to kill the queen and most of the eggs. As I made my way my motion tracker picked up movement behind me I turned to my thermal vision and noticed that it was a yacht it stood there looking at me. I pulled my M6H Magnum and shot the xenomorph drone that was about to strike the yacht. It turned around to see the xenomorph thrashing around on the floor dying the yacha crushed its neck it turned around at me. I look at it and told it to help my team if it wants to escape. It tilted its head to the right it turned around and went the direction that I came possibly to my team or to leave the hive. I continued to the center of the hive but on my way I placed plasma grenades around the hive just in case if the nuke wasn't enough. I made it to a large cavern filled with eggs some were exploded while others had the top of them open. Plenty of xenomorphs all of different sizes and shapes some even seemed to be trying to put on hunter armor even some began feasting on some bodies I began activating the nuke till I noticed an egg freshly being laid next to me. I looked up and noticed the xenomorph queen with the large egg sake attached to its lower half of its body. The queen must have noticed my presence she popped its head out and screeched it was so loud it could be heard all around the hive, possibly even the surface. It must have been a way for the queen to call all of xenomorphs to the chamber, but before any of them could get close to me I pulled my shotgun at an unopened egg they all stood back I placed the nuke with a countdown of 40 minutes, which would be more than enough time to escape and make it to the ship. I threw a flame grenade in a batch of eggs causing them to burn the xenomorph queen began screaming as the face huggers began to come out of the eggs to try to escape, but only to get roasted. I ran out of the chamber shooting some of the xenomorphs on my way. I continued making my way to my team till I heard gunfire I followed to it and found my team but they were a few levels above me surrounded by all types of xenomorphs. Escape as Spartan X began his way to get to his team to get them out before the nuke went off, he found himself above his team as the xenomorphs coming out of the tunnel several of them falling to the ground as Spartan X's team began mowing them down before they can completely crawl out. Spartan X pulled out a combat spear and threw it at a xenomorph that was about to lunge at Spartan N. Spartan X jumped down firing his battle rifle shooting a few out of the way as he retrieved his combat spear and he switched to his primary shotgun and started mowing them down as he was holding them back as his team attached grappling hooks on their wrists. Spartan P grabbed Spartan X and all began to grapple their way out of the hive. Spartan X told his team to run as the nuke went off next to the queen the queen was killed instantly 
and destroying mostly all of the hive. As the Spartans ran to abandon research outposts, only one Razorback was the only vehicle left and one radio left on a table covered in blood. As they walked to the Razorback, a message came to their radio. It was from the ship that they arrived in, the UNSC ship Thunderstorm. Spartans, we have a signal of something big heading your way. It came from the cave you all came out of. Your ship will be sent down to retrieve you. They looked around and felt the ground shaking. They all noticed the xenomorph it looked like a queen but it was much bigger its tail was large and bulky its arms nearly touching the ground its head was twice the size of the queen. As it ran it released a large roar. Spartan X and his team lifted their weapons and aimed at the xenomorph. As soon as the xenomorph gotten close they opened fire but to no effect its skin was stronger. Spartan X contacted the UNSC Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm, this is X requesting danger close traveling east on our location. The captain followed Spartan X's request and released Archer missiles near his location then the caption gotten a message to release a Havoc nuke. Spartan X, you and your team need to get the hell off the planet. We were given orders to release a Havoc nuke to the planet. It would destroy the planet. You have 15 minutes to get on your ship and get the hell out of there. Spartan X and his team gotten on the Razorback and drove away from the Xenomorph as the Archer missiles fell from the sky and to the ground.